Because this is a place that believes in documentation. <laughs> so we're constantly being documented. Professor Stevens, I think you should uh, have the honor of uh, giving the first word. Oh, first word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I'd just like to welcome you all here. It's wonderful to have you all, and it's wonderful to have the participation of our city and Connecticut College, and for Professor Alcorn to be here, and Professor Graham. I think we're in for a very exciting time. This uh, Archaeological Conservation Institute, with its rather uh, cumbersome name, which doesn't, I think, necessarily fully express what it is, began in 2011, because in 2010, in the fall, Professor Nardi came to our campus as an Archaeological Institute of America crest lecturer. And I, I had a project in North Africa that I was very interested in his opinion on. He may not have known it, but the main reason I wanted to talk to him afterwards was to show him my slide and get him involved. Um, and instead, what happened is um, we really uh, hit it off, uh, and I felt that the kind of um, projects that he does overseas um, in conservation, archaeological conservation, as well as the ones here in Italy, uh, which are really um, on-site projects, much of it is um, preventive conservation, um, that this was a, a, a field and a, a kind of course that we simply don't have um, in American institutions by and large. And you press when you uh, are in this area, and then we can, when you come back, just uh, so it's uh, too big uh, like that, and then up, up. Hmm? Hmm. So you make like that. Down, up, down, up. And then down, up, down, up. And then with the Kleenex. I have a clean like good. that. Yes. It's good. Okay. Not, not like that. Okay. Yeah. Not so like that. This Just the water. Yes. Uh, the, the water. The other microphone. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Now we want just to. Uh, the best thing, I, I wrote chisel that is very generic, mm -hmm. but if we, fa for example, here, no? This yes. fragment that really I don't know what could be, but as a. You well, see, so, uh, yes. a row. I think with the. Oh, thank you, thank you. With, the, with this, mm -hmm. to make in yellow, where so they come out and we, we just have a look, no? What do you think? Mm -hmm. To know where it's on my Yes. So I have, I wrote that I have. Major. What first made you interested in the program? Well, I was traveling with Dr. Graham for a class in Ecuador, and he offhandedly mentioned that he was going to some archaeological thing in Sardinia with some students. I forgot about it for a few weeks until I decided, oh, I'll ask him about it. So I did, and I joined. Oh, well, I was interested as soon as I heard about it, because um, well, I've never been out of the country, and now I suddenly get the chance to go to Italy and work hands-on with conservation. I know that conservation is a pretty small field, so I really wanted that experience so I could add that to my repertoire. I was interested in, uh, as an architecture major, and in the museum sort of certificate program combining those two, and I thought that the conservation work um, would sort of help in 
understanding that process. Of I feel like the opportunity to work on something like the Monte Carlo statues only comes once in a lifetime. I first became interested in the program through Professor Stevens. Dr. Graham. And Dr. Graham. Professor Alkermes. Actually, my religious studies advisor walked up to me and said, you should do this uh, because I love Italy and I'm trying to find a career field that allows me to combine my love of both art and craft with cultural studies. What are you working on right now? I'm working on this lovely fragment. Uh, it is the top of a Naragi tower. I am cleaning a fragment 2150. This is a fragment from what we think is a hand, a left hand, and a shield. Moving on documentation, so photograph, photographing, fragments, and um, replication. Um, I'm actually working on the video project. Well, what I'm working on right now is a torso, I mean the upper torso, like the chest, a little bit of the shoulders and arms, and a bit of the neck, of a boxer, one of the three typologies, hold the shield up like this. <laughs> That'd be nice. Decorative design. I'm working on a rock. And what's your biggest takeaway from your experience here? How important conservation is to the public and how excited they are when they see what we're doing. Um, it's been really interesting sort of understanding what goes into different um, pieces of stone um, and how delicate they actually are because you think of stone as being hard and solid but it's actually Really fragile. <laughs> Roberto Nardi's philosophy of public history, um, how it's not good to kind of seal yourself off from the public, but you should allow the public to see what you're doing, and that way the public can participate and help you. I really like the fact that it is in the public eye and that they're trying to get as many people involved as possible, which a lot of times isn't really the case, and most people should be interested in it since it's their heritage. I think it's important to meet other people who are interested in the same things as I am and learn how to work with them. Is I guess the confirmation of what I want to do as a career, um, working a lot with hands-on materials as opposed to desk work, being in a cubicle. People's interest in it. There's nothing like seeing a bunch of little kids coming on a field trip and ogling us as we're working on our on the uh, fragments with our little scalpels, picking away at the dirt. And it's really good to see people's interest in the subject and how much they're fascinated by it. Working on a rock. <laughs> <laughs>